you guys released Orlando Skandrick. What went into that reasoning? A couple things. Uh, really, you know, when we initially signed Orlando, we had just lost Kendall, and uh, it was before the draft that we drafted Strowman, and obviously we got Adonis, and uh, I think the emergence of Danny Johnson, uh, Fabian Moreau at nickel. Um, we wanted to get these guys the reps at nickel and Dunbar at corner and, and move on. So uh, give Orlando ample time to get on another team before the season started. So the uh, you know, right now, the way it looks on the depth chart, you have rookies is your four, five, and six cornerbacks. Yeah. Um, so you have, you have good confidence in those guys to, to jump right in there if you need them during the season? I do. I've been very impressed with them all. You know, obviously Adonis, not as much because he just got here and he's been hurt. But he's got the skill set that we've noticed that uh, as far as your sixth corner, I think can be very uh, good guy to have in your building and develop. You know, and, and watching Stroman and watching Danny Johnson compete and play, I've been impressed. Watching Fabian move inside, been very impressed. So, uh, you know, uh, we still have time. If it doesn't work out or somebody gets injured, we still have time to make moves also ourselves. And Jay, Tejada's done a good job also. What exactly has Fabian done on the inside to um, develop that faith? Well, he's a strong physical kid um, and can run. So I think the whole point of it is we have to get them the reps. You know, uh, when somebody else is here and Fabian's not taking reps, it's not doing anybody any good. So we have to see Fabian. Fabian's got to go through it, learn it, uh, make his mistakes. We've got to get him corrected. Uh, so when we play Arizona, uh, we have a great confidence that, Fabian knows what to do and how to communicate and, and the leverages and techniques we want him to play. And I think he'll be fine once that hits. Yes? Uh, do you think that yesterday uh, the, the calmer nature to practice had to do more with the threat of suspension or the just kind of the message you, you and Todd had delivered of we have work to do and this, this other stuff in the way? That was a clean practice. You know, I think uh, – like I said yesterday, I think that fight happened was uh, just an oddity, really. I think yesterday you guys were professionals, practiced and understood the, what we were trying to get accomplished and uh, realized that fighting doesn't nobody any good. But at the end of the day, we got a lot of work done in the last two days, and today it won't be any different, hopefully. Jay, didn't see uh, Josh Doxon out, out there yesterday. Is there any, anything going on with him right now? No. Um, he a uh, little sore. I think he's going to go today. It's at the Achilles still? It's not the Achilles, no, it's his heel. Not the Achilles heel, just the heel. <laughs> what would you learn about, uh, about your team during the stretch here in Richmond? And I imagine you're thrilled with the progress you guys made, right? Yeah, yeah, we still obviously have a long ways to go, but I'm, I'm happy with the progress we've made offensively. You know, we've done it a couple different ways. I wish we could get everybody in the lineup at one time, it'd be nice to see. But uh, for the most part, I like uh, the way the guys have progressed uh, from day one till now. And uh, same with defensively. We still, you know, we're communicating, we're working. We had some busts yesterday. We have to get cleaned up. But guys are working hard and playing hard. That's all I can ask for. Back, back to Skander for a second. It, was it his play or was it the, the rookies emerging or, or did it not have to do with on the field it had things? Nothing not to do with his play. It was uh, more of the rookies' emergence, really. You know, like I said, we drafted Stroman. Um, we got Adonis in the supplemental, and then nobody could really predict Danny and Tejada the way they played. So, uh, really, that. And we want to give Orlando ample time to get on another team. Coach, um, anything about Thursday about the starters? Are they going to play a series or two? Or are you, you going to hold them I think defensively out? we'll probably go that route. We'll see. Offensively, we'll wait and see who uh, are available to us uh, due to injury. We'll make that decision soon. Danny Johnson, just what is he? Like, what about him has stood out, just that he is undrafted, that he's been able to kind of carve a role for himself here? Uh, his competitive nature, his playmaking ability, um, you know, he's, he's been solid all the way around. You know, he's a good tackler, so, uh, you know, he's done a great job. Everything we've asked him to do, he's done, and very competitive kid, and uh, he's on special teams. He can help us there, which is the other part of it. Considering the injuries you had in that first preseason game, does that sort of change – or affect your approach of the game plan for this Thursday? Uh, it could for guys who are, you know, not quite 100 percent. But eventually, we're gonna have to get them out there and play. And and the fear of people getting injured can't 
crossed your mind. We have to go out and play football, and we have to coach it and uh, get things, uh, get guys on the same page. So whether it's game two, game three, or game four, we'll get them out there eventually. And what are you looking to see that you didn't see in that game against the Patriots? Uh, same stuff. I want to see progression from these young kids, and I want to see special team play. I want to see uh, guys getting better from the first game to the second game, you know, uh, continuity and, and people uh, competing. Jay, Cam Sims, a guy at Alabama who didn't have the stats or the awards that his fellow Bama guys had, what did you see from him on the college tape, and what have you seen from him these first couple weeks? Well, he's – you know, he's got the measurables. You know, he's big and can run. And you wonder why, you know, he didn't get drafted, a guy like that. And, uh, you know, it's seen him work out and um, seen him out here. He's an impressive guy, you know. I don't know why he didn't get drafted, really. It wasn't that productive. They had a couple good wideouts there. They had a good running game, you know. So, you know, sometimes they get lost in the with all the great players that they have over there. But uh, he's been great. Uh, he's making a serious push uh, to make this football team. And, um, another good showing Thursday night. Another one the following week. I think uh, he's got a good chance. Jay, you guys going to reach out to free agent cornerbacks still available, or, or are you really just going to ride with these rookies? We're going to go with what we have right now. We'll probably sign another one uh, maybe uh, here shortly, but right now we like what we have. Larry? Holsey back is the key part of this grand plan. Yeah, exactly right. You got Holsey coming back after week eight, whatever it is. So we have him uh, as well. Will you start the season on pop then? Sure. Uh, it looks that way. Just, just wrapping up camp and anything you've seen that's particularly impressed you in these couple weeks? Um, I think you can say something positive about everybody that's participated in camp, really. I think they've all done something very impressive. Uh, they've all done something that needs to be corrected, but uh, for the most part, I think everybody's uh, put in the work, put in the time, and I think it's ready to get the heck out of here. <laughs> all right, thank you.